Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. Now, excuse the ring light issue as always, but I'm blind today, so I can't take my glasses off. But we move, we move. So today's video I've seen quite a few people do now, and I thought I'd hop on the trend, but I have very strong opinions about fashion trends and fashion, not even just fashion, just different trends I have a very strong opinions about because nine times out of ten I don't follow them and I don't just go with the flow I don't do things because other people are doing them I've always been that way I've always been like almost more worried that I'm doing the same as other people rather than conforming so yeah I have very strong opinions about this so I'm gonna do 2020 fashion trends that I hate because there are so many but I have whittled it down to a few. I have actually written them down. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. <coughs> right, before I start, I'm not an expert in fashion. I never have been. I mean, come on, like, I'm wearing a friggin' hoodie and leggings right now. Like, I'm no fashion guru. You don't have to agree with me. I don't want anyone to feel offended by this. This is purely my opinion. I'm just being honest. Number one is one of the worst trends I have ever seen and I can't get over them but so many people like them and they just don't seem to be going away and that is very chunky trainers. Now I don't mind some chunky trainers because I'm wearing kind of I'm wearing Adidas ones. I don't mind them if they're a little bit chunky. Nike Jordans are probably my limit. But I'm talking about the ugly moon boots like Fila have. I just hate them. You're not walking on the moon. Why do you need that much platform? And why do you need that much chunk? Because it makes your feet look ginormous. I don't understand. Someone please tell me the logic behind these. Because I really don't get it. So yeah, number one, moon shoes. Hate them. Gotta go. Please, can't they just get left behind? Even Baby Spice looks a bit questionable in them, so let's just keep them where they belong. Number two, keeping on with the shoes and footwear kind of thing, is mules. Now, I think it's a personal hate because I can't keep shoes like that on my feet. Like, even flip-flops and sandals and stuff, like, nine times out of ten, I have to have the back to them because... They just slip off my feet. I can't, I don't have the like strength to keep them on my feet. So I just think a mule has then got a heel and I just sense disaster. So I think it's because that I can't actually wear them myself that I don't like them because I think some of them are a bit cute, but yeah, I just, no, no, not for me. Number three, another one that I don't think I'm ever, ever going to the end of cycling shorts now do they ever look flattering like granted i see some instagram girls looking phenomenal in them but i'm like the bit that gets me is when people start wearing things and i'm kind of a hypocrite right now because i'm wearing like a hoodie and leggings like i'm about to exercise but i have got back from a walk so I'm not that much of a hypocrite, but I can't stand when people wear pieces of clothing that are not for its intended purpose or not for the intended person. Like cycling shorts, how many of you have actually cycled in them? Probably not many because the fabric on the fashion ones are not very good. But I just don't think they're flattering. Camel toe vibes, no, not for me. I just don't get it. And like I said, intended purpose, that make, brings me on to the North Face coat. It is driving me insane because one, they're expensive because of the brand, but most of the time they are expensive because they have purpose. Like if you're going on a hike, they're made for like people who like to track, people who walk around. They're not made for fashion. This is why they're expensive. But oh, I hate that everyone's going around in them. I like just wearing a more puffer coat, darling. I've been brought up like around landmarks that 
people like to go on long walks with and that I just always used to see door face everywhere so I think that's why it bothers me because you're wearing them for a fashion trend I don't understand next up let's go on to jeans now I love jeans like the next person I live and die in skinny jeans in I've recently got split hem jeans if you've seen in my, any of my boohoo videos I've got a pair of them but there are things that just go a bit too far now one I'm all for a ripped jean but do you really need rips right under your bum cheeks no like how is that flattering unless you've got like a bum like JLo or a bum like so pert and so cellulite free it's not gonna look flattering don't understand it also kind of the trendy jeans that are in now now i've seen patchwork jeans which literally just looks like a million bits of fabric just stuck together and i just think it looks tatty i don't think it looks trendy at all i just think it looks like tatty and like you've been attacked i just really don't understand that trend and graffiti jeans now i think it's cute if it's like say a different shade of blue like i've seen like lightning bolt ones or like butterflies that's kind of cute but when they're bright pink and there's sort of skulls on or something and it's just so unnecessary i really don't understand like what happened to a basic pair of jeans most like you have a good thing and then people want to try and make it different to sell and it just it lasts for about five minutes and i just can't stand it on to that last thing about jeans why are suddenly people wearing them with the zip and the button undone so you can see your underwear like the only time I rock that trend is if I really need to go for a wee and I know I'm not going to make it in time if I have to struggle with a button. Like, how is that a trend? I don't get it. Like, and also, how do you keep them up? Next up. Now, I have mentioned before that I do get really, like, I am funny about tracksuits personally. And I, do, I really don't like looking shabby or, like, just absolute slob most of the time which i kind of do but it's not my intention but <sighs> juicy couture track suits now whose idea was it to bring them back like who wants to go around with juicy on your ass i don't get it and after a few washes you can guarantee the little sequin gemstone things are gonna come off so it just it would look tatty and not okay i just don't understand why they've come back i really don't like i'm funny about velour tracksuits anyway but why have they come back it's like they're trying to bring back so many like y2k and like so many 90s trends and early 2000s trends that it's just not okay it's not okay i don't think it works at all at all i just don't like them i know it's um kind of controversial but well, it's not controversial at all but so many people love them but i think it's because i'm getting old that i just don't see the practicality of them and that is mini bags or shoulder bags that you fit nothing in now like on sites like boohoo they usually put a phone next to these bags and most of them 90 percent of them do not fit the phone in and yeah, guarantee, like, most of the time I don't usually have my phone in my bag, I'll have it in my pocket or something, but if your phone don't fit in there, what would anything else fit in there? I just don't get it. Why would you have a bag that you can't utilise? I don't get it. Next is, again, a very pointless trend for me, and that is the super, super cropped jumpers that come to about here. Like, you're going to have to wear two jumpers, surely, in the winter, because this ain't going to do anything but warm your arms. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Like, if you're wearing a jumper, wear a jumper. If you don't want to wear a jumper, don't wear a jumper or wear a jacket. But I don't get the trend. Like, I don't even think it looks that cute either. Like, shoot me. But I don't think it looks cute at all. Like, where is the flattering in it at all? like you basically got flesh show it because most people just wear them with like a tank top so you've got like flesh showing and your boobs showing but it's not 
doing anything it has no purpose again i sound like an old lady but i just don't get the trend where you can't utilize the reason of a jumper you ain't gonna stay warm bottom line right next up is it's something that i just really can't fathom it's the same with the undone jeans but it's why are people suddenly going around purposely showing their thongs like it's almost as bad as when boys used to go around with their boxes halfway up their stomach and their jeans below their bum i just don't get it like it's not cute like you just look like you need to pull up your trousers i i can actually realize how much i sound like my nan what is the reason and what is the sexiness or trendiness of wearing your thong on show like you wouldn't go around with your granny knickers on show would you so again i don't know how i feel about the like trousers that have like the fake thong so it's almost like a bit of material just like separate i don't get that trend really either i mean it could look cute and it looks cute on some people but i just don't get the thong trend whatsoever this is my last, second to last one and it's actually quite controversial because i own items like this but i think it's just had its day it just needs to go to bed now because i just think people are taking it too far and it's just not as trendy and it's not as pretty i guess as it once was and that's tie-dye now i've got a tie-dye top and it's the first thing that i ever owned was in a tie-dye pattern was this tie-dye top and it's from the saffron barker range in the style her first ever collection and i love that top because it's pastels and it works but I think now it's just gotten so overrated and so overdone because people were doing it at home there was a lot of diy tie-dye but now even on fashion websites the colors they're using are just not okay like it just looks like you've spilt something down your top i just don't think it looks fashionable anymore or trendy or nice i think pastel and the way it's meant to be if that makes sense looks nice but i think it's had its day bye bye tie dye and last but not least it's not a fashion trend but i am sick of seeing them everywhere and that is body part homeware like they remind me of the Nicki minaj perfume when she had like and i thought that was weird to begin with like the outline of her like body as a perfume bottle i don't i didn't get it but that was her niche but now it's like people are buying stuff of that kind of thing and make it into homeware i don't get it i don't get like the faces i don't get the bums i don't get the like they're making everything into homeware pots and why why would you want to walk into someone's house and go oh i've got some flowers to put in a bum vase and i've got pens to go in a face pot i just don't get it i don't get the logic of some people whatsoever but <sighs> that's life isn't it we're not all going to have the same taste but this is basically me slating all of the top trends of 2020 and oops so that is the end of my video i hope you enjoyed like i said it's not intentional that i'm offending people so if you don't get offended if you're watching this video it's just purely my opinion i know they're unpopular opinions because they were such massive trends of 2020 but they've got to go i'm sorry they're definitely you definitely won't be seeing them on me or in my house let me tell you anyway like and subscribe if you like this video and wanted more videos like this and leave a comment down below i will see you in my next video